Well, a recent report by the CDC shows a concerning rise in sadness, hopelessness, and exposure to violence among teens, particularly girls and LGBTQ youth. The report goes on to say a combination of factors can put young people at high risk for suicide, depression, substance use disorder, and poor academic performance. But the survey also finds that more than one in four girls seriously considered attempting suicide in 2021. It's just heartbreaking. The CDC says that number is up significantly over the past decade. But they also say with the right programs and services in place, schools have a unique ability to help students thrive. There's a program right here in Michigan helping students offer their peers a lifeline. I've had mental health issues pretty much my entire life. McKenna Duman is a senior at Community High School in Ann Arbor. She was first diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder in the third grade. It was really affecting my life a lot because I was worrying about everything. Now, McKenna is a member of her school's peer-to-peer -peer depression awareness program. It's a student-led, adult-supported effort that trains teens about depression, anxiety, and other mental health disorders. Students then create custom in-school mental health campaigns to reduce stigma, raise awareness, encourage help-seeking, and promote early detection. We know that peers are talking to each other, right? So we really empower them with the language that they need of like, no, it's not normal to have high rates of anxiety all of the time. Like, when might I need more help? Stephanie Salazar manages the program for the University of Michigan's Eisenberg Family Depression Center. The program started in five Ann Arbor schools back in 2009 and has since spread to more than 50 schools in four states with interactive trainings like this one for middle schoolers. Since many mental health disorders start in adolescence, the premise is to equip middle schoolers and high schoolers to spot signs of distress and direct their peers towards the right resources. How important is it to hear these messages coming from a peer as opposed to an adult, even a trusted adult? It's so important, and that's why this program was built, because um, we know, you know, I, I can go give a presentation about depression and anxiety, and that's all and well, but it doesn't have the same impact. And McKenna says the impact is real. She's used her training to get help for a classmate at risk for self-harm. I went to a teacher, and the teacher, like, contacted Dean, and they have, like, a whole plan in place. And do you feel that that made a difference? Definitely. Survey data backs that up, showing peer-to-peer -peer increases knowledge among students, reduces stigma, and promotes help-seeking intentions. Crucial in an age of social media pressure and campus violence with tragedies playing out at Oxford High School and MSU. It being so close to home, you know, we had um, students who felt this more than once in the last two years, right? And it's um, it's got to impact you in a negative way. When I go into college, like, Knowing those signs and being able to help people is going to be making a huge difference. Now, the Eisenberg Family Depression Center also has resources to support college mental health as well. And that includes a conference on depression on college campuses. It's in person March 14th and 15th in Ann Arbor. And that conference is free for all students, no matter what school you're from, no matter what college campus you're coming from. The Eisenberg Family Depression Center also has free resources available at Depression Center. Dot org. And we all know that, you know, that you get information differently. You receive it differently when it's coming from a peer as opposed to, you know, an adult. It, it's powerful. It's relatable. And it's so wonderful to know that these are free resources that are available. That's right. Depressioncenter.org. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Keenan.